Okay, so um, now that we're warmed up, remember, stay hydrated. We start with the lower body, glute bridges. Now I have all these exercises separately on um, different places online to, to, to send, send you guys. So if you ever just want to see one quick exercise, um, you can look it up or let me know. So we're going to do about 10. Um, and we're going to go through this whole thing one time. If you want to do two sets or three sets, um, or if I told you to do two or three sets, just replay the video. <laughs> All right. So glute bridges, feet spread out. You're just going to squeeze your butt muscles, squeeze the glutes. And that squeezing is going to bring your legs up or your butt up off the ground. Three, four. And then if, if it only brings you so high, you can push into the floor with your feet a little more. But you want to make sure that you're not just pushing into the floor because that's using your thighs. You want to use your, your glutes. If you want, you can add weights on your hips to make it a little harder. And if you really want to kick it up a notch, you can do one-legged with weights or without weights. So choose one, and we're going to do 10. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, slow and controlled, five, six. I'm going to add some weights and go one-legged. Now, if you go one-legged, you can do 10 on each side. So I'm going to do 10 really quick. If you're done, uh, just take a break. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Next one we're going to do is squats. So squats, there's a few different things you can do, uh, again, to make them easier or harder. Uh, so just a regular squat, feet are spread out. Your toes are pointed out just a little bit, and you can go as far as you want. If you want to go all the way down to the ground, it's going to be hard to have your feet way out, far, far apart. So if you want to go all the way down to the ground, you know, like into a really squat position, um, you got to have your feet a little closer together. And your knees just go out at the same direction your feet are pointed at. That's all. So to make it easier, you can use a chair to sit, or you can use a ball on your lower back and just lean against a ball. Really, if you don't have an exercise ball, any if you have a basketball or anything, it really works. Um, just to kind of give you some support so it's less stress on your knees. Or if you have a TRX cable, that'll be another video. Uh, but for me, I'm gonna kick it up a notch and use, well, I have eight pound dumbbells. Usually, you know, I usually put about 150, 200 on my back, but whatever. So you can add the weights, you can put the weights here, pretend like you're having a, you're, have a bar across your back, or you can hold them down here, or you can hold them here and kind of do like a, a goblet squat so the weight's more in the front. However you want to do it, let's do it, 10. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do 12 of these, ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whew, eleven, twelve. Excellent. All right. Take a break. Um, so we're going to go into. Romanian deadlifts. So I just want you to keep your back straight. So no rounding your back. And knees are slightly bent. They're not locked out 100%. It just doesn't feel good. And I'm just going to bend. Um, if you want, you can bend your knees a little bit to touch the ground. But just keep your back straight. Okay? Ready? We're going to do 12 of these. One. Two. And I want you to bend more with your lower back. You only bend your knees if you really want to touch the floor and you can't reach it just by bending over. Five. But you should feel this like in your butt, in your lower back. 
it's those muscles that you can kind of visualize them picking picking you up from bending over seven whatever you're on eight <laughs> Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So again, just kind of feel that in the butt, lower back. Um, we're gonna do adductor raises. We're we doing on time. Fifteen. Good. We gotta hit that. We gotta hit that upper body too. So from the side, lift that leg up. I like to go down on my side, four, five, and you can go forward a little bit, six, straight up, seven, and back a little bit, work different muscles, 10, 11, 12. Uh, also, if you do the fire hydrants, <laughs> uh, kind of strategically named, this kind of works the same muscles, just in a different way. So on your side, one, two, three, four, five. And again, you can go forward a little bit. Six, seven, eight, back a little bit. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So alternate for that is um, putting the band around your hips, or around your knees, sorry. And just kind of doing side steps. Really good for you know the adductor, abductors, A B D, U C T O R. So you can take like whatever, ten steps to the right, ten steps to the left, or if you don't have, if you only have five steps of space, five steps, both ways twice. But that's another one. Um, and last one for the lower body, calf raises. So if you have a step, I would use a step so that you can go. Your ankle, your heels can go down a little bit and get a little more range of motion. Or otherwise, just hold onto the wall or a chair and step up. You can hold some weights so that it's a little harder. Three. Do about twelve of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So like if you had a step, you can see how, now I don't recommend using something like this because it, it's not very stable. So if you have steps in your house, just go with those. But you see how my heels are going lower than the, the block? So you get a little more range of motion, you get a, a little more, work some more muscles.